Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to use a, another type of tool to do the jailbreak on our PS4. This one is PSGO PP Pwned Lite version 3.7. Now, it does work with all the jailbreakable firmwares that are available for PP Pwned, um, but the firmware we'll be using is 11.00. So let's go ahead and jump into the video here. We can go ahead and download it here. I will leave a link in the description for you to download. I've already went ahead and downloaded it. I have it here and I went ahead and extracted it. So we'll jump into the folder. Uh, in the folder we have the goal 10. So we'll go ahead and copy that over to our USB. If you already have it on your internal, then you don't need to go ahead and do this. Um, so my USB is I. We'll just drag that over right onto the I drive. Confirm that it's there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and eject that, and we'll go ahead and plug it into our PS4. Then we'll back all the way out, and we'll open up the PPP pwned light. Go ahead and say yes if you do get a security message there. And you can see that we do have our settings here. Um, firmware, go ahead and choose from 7.5 right up to 11. For the video, we'll be using 11, and then we can choose our Ethernet adapter. It's only one here for me, so I'll go ahead and hit OK there. Now it does create a shortcut on the desktop, which I don't like. I wish there was an option to disable that, but other than that there, we are ready to go. So we'll go ahead and jump over to the PS4, and we'll give this a try. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll jump over to our settings. We'll go into our network, go ahead and set up internet connection. We'll use the LAN cable. We'll go to custom. We'll select PPPOE. Go ahead and type in anything for the username as well as the password. Go ahead and hit next. We'll set the DNS to automatic. MTU settings automatic. And then do not use proxy server. Okay, so we won't test the connection right here. We'll back out and we'll just disconnect from the network. We'll bring up our PP pwned light. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and hit the start button on it. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and check connect to the internet. Now it shouldn't take very long to start going here. We should see the messages change. There we go. So it's starting to go. There is a option up the top here. You can go ahead and select it and it does show you the the text as it goes or you can just stay on the main screen and just wait for it to be done there's stage one should get up to stage two here pretty quick okay 50 percent there we go okay we should see stage two and then we should see stage three and then we should get goal 10 to load. Okay, there's our cannot connect to the network. There's our pwned message. There's our goal 10 message. And our payload successfully loaded. So we can take that off the screen for now. And we'll jump down to our setup internet connection. Go ahead and select our Wi-Fi. We'll say yes to the save settings that we have. Give it a few moments here and we should be connected. There we go. So if we back out of there, we jump up to our user guide. Go into user guide. And we should get redirected to the Echo Stretch host. And from there, if we wish to load some payloads, we can jump onto Chameleon's host and we can select a payload to load. But that's basically it for the video. If you did find the information useful, please go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.